let's do this. We have about four minutes. Let's take a look at some of the homework and see if we can not disambiguate some of the things that ail you. <clears throat> Let's um, let's let's take a look at these warm-up exercises real quickly, okay? What I want to do is just point out what we've what we've been seeing here. I have hopistas du los. Grab your homework. Which one of these is the adjective? Pistas. I'm just put an A here. Du los is the noun, right? Okay. <coughs> What case are these? All right, good. All of them are not one of them, right? So is this an attributive or a predicate use of the adjective here? It's attributive. How do I know that? I've got an article in front of it, right? Which position, by the way, which attributive position is the adjective here? First, right, because it's first before the noun. So it's the what? Faithful, Faithful servant. servant. What would be another way to write this in the second attributive position? That's right. Ha dulas ha pistas. Right? And it, that would be translated the same way. And notice pistas would still have what in front of it? The article. The article. All right? Now take a look at tetra te hamera. These iodas are telling you that the whole thing is in what what case? That's data. Is there any possible way for the adjective trite to be a predicate adjective? Mm -mm. Because predicate adjectives can only be what case? Nominative. So I, I would never want to say something like the day is third <laughs> here, right? This is date of case, so it's going to be something like uh, just looking at the, the meaning of the words, the, which kind of day? It's attributive. Right. The third day, right? What kind of servant? The faithful servant. So the third day, but now since it's date of, i got to add my keyword. What's one of the keywords I can use? On or, or in, right? So in or on the third day. Look at tan hui an tan agape tan. My noun is which word? Hui on or agape tan? Noun is hui on. Agape tan is, is the adjective. Hmm. Does this accompany a noun and agree with it in case, gender, and number? Well, there's a noun. Are those the same? Same case, gender, number? What do you think? Yes, no. Yes. What what yes. what case gender number are both of these? Accusative, Accusative. singular, masculine, right? That's the word son, by the way. Okay. They both share the same case gender number. They are next to each other. Good candidates for attributive, right? Telling me what kind of son? What kind of son is this? This is the beloved son. That's what kind of son. And uh, why would I not even want to think about this being a predicate use where I would be trying to translate this as the son is good or beloved? I'm sorry. Because I've got accusative case here. And predicate adjectives only occur in what case? No. Nominative case. What about huiana gapita? It's almost the same here, isn't it? But they just happen to be not definite. <clears throat> So is this attributive or predicate? It's attributive. It agrees with the noun and what? Case, gender, and number. And the case isn't nominative, is it? So what kind of a son is this? Yeah, but it's this time it's a beloved son, right? Not. Couldn't mean that's not his beloved though, because it's not accusative. Exactly. Here it would have to be the object of some verb, right? I have. We on a tan, a beloved son. Tan lagan, tan aman. This is an adjective. Is it next to a noun that it agrees with in case gender or number? It is. So it's what kind of an adjective? 
attributive. And it's telling me something about the now, the, the word, right? So it's which word? My, my word. <laughs> That's what kind of word it is. It's a my word. The my word. <laughs> so how are you going to translate that? Just my word, right? When you have possessive adjectives, you can drop the. All right. And then look at the uh, Ada. Vistas hathias, real quickly. Uh, this is your post-positive conjunction. So in English, you're going to take it and put it on the outside because it's a conjunction, right? So really, it's pistas hathias. Pistas hathias. Is pistas an adjective? There's my noun, right? <clears throat> is the noun definite? It is. If this is an attributive adjective, it has to have what if the noun is definite? It's got to have the article. Is there an article here? No. no. So this is not the faithful God. Rather, it's... Yes, God is faithful. Okay, and then your conjunction. And, but, now, God is faithful. Okay? Um... Can we talk about Zeta? Because <coughs> it said I put the evil son, which I know is wrong. But this is like the sons of the evil one. Mm, yeah. So the issue here is uh is whether you're taking Paneru to be neuter or masculine. Right? Because we know it's genitive singular for sure, right? That upsilon. And the Omicron tells us it's second declension. If you remember, in the genitive and dative, masculine neuters can be identical, right? So if it's neuter, the idea is that it's the sons of evil as a thing. And if it's masculine, it's the sons of the evil one, right? meaning the evil person. Maybe Satan is the one that is in view. So sons of evil as an abstract thing, neuter, or sons of the evil one, conceived of as a person or a living entity. But you can't take this as attributive, right? This is the adjective. Why can you not take this as an attributive adjective? With with huioi. It doesn't match what? Yeah, it doesn't match this noun in case gender number, right? Hoi huioi is nominative, plural, masculine. Tupaneru, genitive, singular, and neuter or masculine, right? Not a match. <clears throat> It is an adjective, but it's an adjective in the genitive case that doesn't have a noun that it accompanies and agrees with. So it is functioning as the noun, right? And we call that kind of an adjective a substantival use. Okay. All right. Good. We'll stop there. <clears throat>